okay, guys, this is going to be a chill stream. But uh, I got invited to something big. So I don't think I'm going to do a New Year's. I don't think I was ever going to do a New Year's. So I felt guilty. I'm like, dude, I can't do goal setting with you guys in the new year. Because that's going to look so bad. We got to do, do it now. I'm not here to have fun. I'm here to just provide value, help you guys. Because... I've had so much, I've had a blast 2023 so much that I'm like, I forgot to be transparent with something and I've been doing it recently, but it feels like, all right, it feels like I got to be way more transparent. Okay. Guys, uh, who knows me? Who's watched me for a while? I've got to ask you something. If you know who I am, then you know how important this is. I skipped every single class in high school. I failed every single class. And my n I'm telling you, there's never been a human with this little followers make this much money and I didn't even notice. And I'm thinking to myself like, you don't gotta be a scholar to f this internet game, bro. I, was, I used to give advice at 200 viewers on business, marketing, all that. And then my chat would laugh. But they said, eh, it's, it kind of makes sense. I'm trying not to be loud, bro. Okay? I'm trying to be respectful. And so I've, I've, I've done a lot of loud here. Okay? And uh, I'm, I'm not trying to be... I don't want my neighbors to do black magic on me. Like, they wish the worst when I start freaking out and doing loud streams I know they're wishing the worst because they talk to me about it wishing the worst for someone is black magic I don't want that energy let's just say this if I market myself correctly and set up the technology for my January I've planned and half of February right now it took me all day so I haven't slept and you know me December is like I think yeah no no enhancements, no cognitive enhancements, no Adderall, no nothing. So it's just, just on some Red Bull shit. And that's why uh, it's going to be like lower energy. It's like, it's, it's not supposed to be a yelling stream. So like, just f off. I killed it this year, man. Like for how long was I at Heal Mike's house saying, I'm about to kill it. And everyone's like, hurry up. You're too afraid to go live. I'm like, I don't need to go live. You know, I've read enough about marketing business shit. I know what I'm about to do. And uh, you got, you guys got to capitalize on waves, bro. Your wins have to pay you. Listen, dude. Why I'm getting angry is I rarely will ever do streams to help you guys out in the new year. Because my team's making me pay well everything. And that means negative thought loops and conquering them. That'll be paywall. Uh, what else we got? <clears throat> that dream state stuff and med meditative practices you guys want, that'll be walled. Everything's going to be paywalled. Everything's about to get very pricey too. So that's why I'm like, I want to end this year with some free value and I'll give you a basic class on goal setting. And remember, I don't do like Andrew Tate advice. I've never given, like, just work hard, just do more push-ups. Like I've never said... To, I say like volume over time, you can make strength adaptation that I give the science, not fake science. The science to getting rich is journaling, man. You have to start journaling the new year and you don't have to remember to write in your journal every day. Write down a 30 day game plan of shit you have to get done. And you can even make it fun. Like, oh, it's a seven day, that thinking day, more studying that day. You can do it like numerology, whatever the f you want. But the point is, if you write 30 mini goals you're going to hit in one month, and that thing is sitting on your desk, if you write a couple mini goals, they never get done. But if you have 30 of those and half the month goes by, you know how guilty you're going to feel. Each of those goals has to link to the real goal, right? So we're doing cookie crumbs to the cookie. If that make, does that make sense? 
All right, and I'm gonna slow it down so you guys absorb this, okay? Around middle of February, I should shall have made easily $250,000, easily. Or I'm setting up the technology for my first clout wave to get to just cash that out in a week, easily. I've done this before, I'm doing it again. My first week in January, I'm finishing every private course, putting it on my website for you guys. And you know right now, I'm kind of talking, I'm bullshitting you because let's be honest, I'm always like a week late. So, so, but seven days, I know I'm getting done, done. All right. If I don't stream for seven days in the new year, you know, I got it done. Another thing. So I have my full individuation goal of who myself is. I have my half goal, which actually is going to keep me healthy for sports. That's the important part is to be healthy. That, was, that way you remain a business mind, mind, body, soul, and spirit. This all got to be healthy. Um, I'm not saying all year round. You know, I'm just going to have waves of healthy and uh, have some party streams with you guys to celebrate. Um, no, no. My, my first goal is just, I've done this like, in the last four years, I've gone ripped with you guys like a couple times. You'll see how fast I do that. But it can't be January. January, I'm getting my whole website complete. Relaunch with merch and everything. And merch, I'm not even going to promote. You, that is gonna, I've seen how much you guys want that. I'm making a bag off you already. All right? <clears throat> the notes that I'm leaking... I don't feel comfortable leaking them without adding notes today. So, for example, most of my notes actually describe the soul as masculine and the mind as feminine. And I've updated that whole thinking process with libido, with all the psychosexual theory of what libido is and desire, because I've updated it, I'm not selling these notes until I update them with my 20, 23, 24 brain. Okay? So a lot of people are asking for their notes how they are. I think that's dishonest. Does that make sense? Because then, then you're gonna, it's going to drive me nuts. I can make a bag off you, but it's going to drive me nuts because you guys will go around saying the soul is the masculine and that it will kill me. Because, yeah, it's whatever. So I'm going to spend seven days, and I'm saying this live, so I actually uh, do it. Uh, and then I realized that the notes, the richness of the notes is what I got to do. The richness of the note is the voiceover. So I don't think I should just feed you guys my notes. That would be so stupid. You know how many books you'll have to read? And no, because then you'd have to jump from five different authors to understand the first 10 pages. It's better if I just do it. Um, I'm going to leak them all for free for you guys so I don't feel like a piece of shit. But the voiceover is going to cost a lot. So if you want me explaining the notes. But a lot of you guys who read these books are catching up to me fast. So I don't think you need me to explain it. And the new year is, I can't live with someone. I can do business with these people, but it's going to be alone. So the streams look like this always. Because I'm not going to lie, dude. Bro, today I read five books. And I did it in a weird way where, like, I always thought... Adderall made me smart, but here's, I've done a month of reading without Adderall. It's very easy. Now I know why when you guys take Adderall, you're still poor. And reading becomes easy when you stop watching content, which, dude, the world gets silent when you stop watching content. Like, it's hard. It gets, the world gets, you have to find images in books. You don't have Kai and Aiden distracting you. You have to literally read for entertainment and gnosis and i'm saying gnosis because it's only knowledge 
they cannot be transferred. You, boom, 100% um, have to do it yourself. Did you regret your veneers, sir? Dude, as soon as I got them, I went live for like, like in months straight with the camera this close. I really like, I'm a big, I love teeth. I, I, I used to stare at Trump. I, I love teeth. I love veneers. I like veneers. I'm, I don't House like realistic donated veneers. Ten dollars. Happy New Year, bro. Happy New Year. I don't like realistic looking veneers. I think they're gross. And even real teeth. I, I don't want to say that because like a lot of people can't afford it. But anyways, we're not doing this veneer talk. Why are you doing that? Yeah, these books that I master, I'm going to repackage them. And uh, so, oh, I'm going to make it. This is like saying this this is not a marketing ploy just between you and me i think i'm going to be more proud of this than data iq like let's be honest that's my baby thoughts on going into your enemy year every year is your enemy year you guys listen to gary too much bro do you think symbolism will be the end of them are you it's been thousands of years and only Alex Jones doesn't break down their symbol. It's one guy in 8 billion people who breaks it down. That's me. Like, <laughs> I'm pretty sure they're, like, safe. <laughs> and another thing, when you understand the symbolism, they're taking that into their dream state. Like, you still have to learn that part. That's a different story. But um, that'll be all on the ZircoOfficial.com upcoming. And I'm going to make it so you guys can't harm yourselves. Like, I've blurred out everything that I've that's hurt me in my past. So you're going to be good. What's your sleep schedule look like? I don't sleep until I get a win. So I haven't slept in what? I took a bit of a nap, I guess. But no, I don't sleep until if I say I'm finishing five mini books, I'm finishing these books. And, uh. Yeah, and I finished that, and I didn't want to go live, but I realized I don't have time with you guys. This is the last stream of the year, right? I'm going to go through. All right, everybody, hands up, head down. O2 donated $10. Hey, John, can you please tell me how I can max my productivity 100%? I need help with staying up for 24 plus hours. I don't have any or anything. I, I used four Red Bulls today, which is kind of bad caffeine. But the truth is, I'm about to tell you, you don't want mastery of the subject. That's why you keep falling asleep. Okay. And we're going to get into it. Okay. My magnum opus. We're going to do a quick little trailer on it, on ending negative thought loops, because you open one TikTok, and it's some goofy shit, and then you spend four hours on TikTok, and then four hours doing stupid shit. Bro, I'm telling you, if you worked effective for one hour a day, you'd get it done, but you don't even do one hour. You have hollow thoughts. You got to understand the four types of mental and psychic resistance you are experiencing and why i say resistance is because i'm pretty sure you guys are minimum wage that's why i only made 20 bucks right i made four thousand the other day and today i made 20 bucks but does tts gotta go up okay abundance mindset don't worry you'll make more my magnum opus releasing in january i'm not putting a date on it for ending negative thought loops will be broken down into Jungian psychology terms of sensation. Oh. All right, everybody, hands up, hands down. Why can't more viral Christians be like you, John? You will be remember on Judgment Day for your teachings on God. What do you think about so many people thinking we are on the sixth day and the second coming soon upon us? Is Jesus coming sooner than we? Th 
I'm not an end timers kind of guy. I don't like to focus on it too much. Do what you can and just bring souls to Christ. That way your dirty past isn't mirroring a dirty future in front of God. You can show growth and evolution in your psychic development. There's four types of psychic resistance you guys are experiencing. One will be an intuition from the gut, the solar plexus, the soul. -er. Intuition, feeling, sensation, and thinking. When I release my product, I'm going to break them down because you're going to hate the mirror after I break it down because I hated the mirror. And then I saw how much money I made this year without even working. I was going on podcasts, having a blast. You guys are selling nothing to the world because you have nothing to sell. You can't solve one of your problems. You can solve one of your life problems and you're financially free. That's all you got to do. I'm solving all of them. And if I can't solve, I'm just going to pray. We're going to pray and get that. Both sides are going to win. I'm also breaking down the anima and animus, which are the biggest archetypal phenomena, if you want to even call it that, that plague the red pill community, manosphere, self-development. And it's going to be the masculine, which is spirit. And the feminine, which will be soul. And don't say I'm contradicting my two years ago work because it's updated. Yeah, I updated it. I was wrong. I can't believe I was wrong for two years, man. I'm usually a genius. I've never been wrong with a book I read. But uh, two years ago, I used to speed this, or a year and a half ago, I used to speed this. Now, my dude, today, I spent five hours on one chapter. That's how many times I had to do it till it, I, till it made sense to me. We're going to go over the masculine spirit part of your mind and thinking, which is thinking your ideal self, your masculine, your animus, and your soul will be your anima, your emotions. I want to say feminine because it is, but it's a balancing act. You can't go all in on one. I know what you're thinking. Like, you, this is the most red bill channel on earth. Like, this guy, women. No, I don't. I'm a businessman in 2024. I'm, I'm increasing my market range by, by telling people I don't have women. I have learned. Listen, the soul animates the body. That's how important fitness is. I know I'm not the guy right now to say that, but the soul animates the body. Because spirit animates the soul. Meaning, if we're focusing on our heart, desires, astral, it's very connected to soul. But it's separate. If you're focusing on desires too much, you will have worldly possessions that dominate it. You'll have nothing. There's plenty of rich dudes more depressed than you right now that's not a cope look at those 50 year olds in ferraris they're not jumping in that ferrari with joy they're, they're walking in like me all jolly like oh my big fat stomach <laughs> yeah, that's not how we're going out this 2024. my first day on the internet i said ego is a good thing and i'm so glad to say i was right in Jungian terms, remove ego's bounds and make your ego boundless to complete the individuation process of integrating your shadow traits and everything wrong with you into who you end up in life, who you need to be. Life is about discovering your own myth. I'm saying this after you're saved with Christ, of course. What happened in my chat? I take off emote only mode. It froze. Like what? 
is going on. Okay, uh, before I move forward, are there any questions? Like, this would be a good time these next few weeks. You guys spam me and say, can you go deeper in Panama or whatever? Because I don't want to give a balanced thing. I want to give a red pill antidote to what did Jordan Peterson call it? The antidote to chaos. Antidote to chaotic thinking that dominated me for like 27 years of my life. So you need an ego. You can't separate it, dude. It's there. It's a part of the self. And you feed the ego real experiences and nourishment. You feed it. Make it boundless. So you're a Jedi master of experiences. Right? That the whole point is mastery. And that's not an old, old man, old sage archetype. There's piano masters at 22 years old, bro. Like, come on. All right? I'm going to break it down in numbers of three. Not because I'm superstitious, but it's because your brain remembers it better. <laughs> Tesla style. We're going to have a mini goal that feeds into the medium goal and the long-term goal. Right? So we're going to feed the day, the moon cycle month, and the year. Okay? That'll be all in the series too. The ego, what does it pull from the collective, from the depths? It's got a sword, and that sword is called will. To will. Think that's what you want to do with your manifestation, whatever you want to call it. You will will success into 24, 2024. I'm not talking to China, I'm talking to myself right now. I do these cycles of will, make a shit ton of money, a bit of chaos, blah, blah. No. 2024 presidential use of my will. I will show you guys. I've shown you one year of grinding, streaming, and making a shit ton of money. That's stupid. I'm going to show you guys $2 million in a, less than a six month period or the backup, always a, sh always a shadow. The backup will be the technology be will be set for that. You guys have no idea. You have no idea. How much time we've wasted it's not a bad thing because just like dudes in their 50s it the libido soul desire sexual energy and loving energy bursts into your work but i'm living my 50s now i'm doing it now that's why you don't see me running around with a girlfriend stupid my dude i want to make so much money that that mega church thing is going to be a lot more real than you think. Okay. Everything is going to go into that. And I'm going to have Nick speak at, at in front of the audience. I'm going to have a bunch of people watch what happens this summer. Hold me accountable. Hold, don't hold yourself accountable. You're watching my story. I'm not watching yours. Okay. Volume's low. Tell me earlier, bro. Okay. Listen to me. I'm right in your ear right now. How's that? Zerko, when are you going to collab with Sneeko? Okay, Sneeko took 20 years on YouTube to make like $5 million, bro. I'm literally a kid. Like, I'm, come on, guys. Like, stop it. And he's got AIDS. Like, I'm playing, what, in a couple years? And I was banned and like, bro, this is shit's easy to me. Listen to me. <clears throat> Listen carefully. As Sneakle does have a mastery of something, I'll give it to him. Entertainment. Like if you close your eyes and think of Destiny or Sneakle, he did master entertainment. Like what would you take away from his entertainment? He'll do a cooking stream. He'll do. He does everything, bro. He's like Variety King, and Variety Kings have the best lives. You want you want your life to look that colorful as rainbow as it can be by the way the rainbow is not gay that's why i'm bringing rainbow merch i'm kidding <laughs> that'd be funny there are four macro archetypes you guys should focus on and ask yourself who you are so we look at my notes this stuff i didn't leak but i just might as well do it right here chat who are you in your storyline and i know you're going to be a mixture of them but it will be either 
the category of you want to leave a mark on the world. Category of number two, you want to connect to others. Category of a spiritual journey. And category of providing structure. These four is the only, th when you shake someone's hand, they're one of these four. That's it. We'll go to the leaving a mark. You've got a sword. You want to leave a mark on earth. You have the hero archetype. And he craves mastery. Do you think Zerka is a hero archetype? When I think of my younger self, yeah, but not really. I don't know. Right now, the, the more I got into this stuff, the more I'm like, have I mastered? I've mastered compared to the NPC male, but mastery of what I think is a master throughout thousands of years, Da Vinci, no. That's when I started, oh, I can't sleep now. I want Da Vinci level mastery. And I don't save billions of people and convert them as the age of Pisces is switching and people are getting a lot less religious. I'm never converting billions of people to Christ or a hundred millions without true mastery. It can't be TV, TV evangelical mastery. It's got to be real mastery. Which is rough, because like, look, bro, in between the books that I finished today, look at this, what else I had done. Took a break, went back to the Bible, and we've got, from Genesis, I did Adam and Eve, Cain and Abel, Esau, Jacob, Moses, Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. And that's not even studying the papacy, saints, and popes. It's very hard to defend Catholicism when we see a bunch of this. But I have to finish all that too, and that's history, bro. That's Rome. I am behind schedule when I think of it. But by the end of 2024, it'll all be done. And it'll, I'll be like first degree mastery, and I need 10 degrees probably, you know, shit like that. That's how I see it. Like, first degree mastery will really bang hard on content creation. I know. Well, <clears throat> no, no, no. We're, we're finishing this. Okay, chat. Do you identify with this first hero archetype that's in Leaving a Mark? These three, it's hero, magician, or outlaw. Which one is Zerka? We'll do me, we'll do you. Okay. Psychically, there's 12 of these Zodiac kind of, I guess, anytime I hear 12, I hear Zodiac in my head. So there's 12 of these archetypes. Who does Zerka? Damn, I got outlaw. Damn, that must have been stuck in, that's a shadow thought. No, I'm a hero. I'm a good guy. No. Yeah. When you think of outlaw, it's different from explorer. It's not freedom, it's liberation meaning he feels constricted that's fine i'll take it I, outlaw doesn't mean i'm in pr prison by the way the more you focus on these symbols and archetypes and little drawings you're gonna make and i'm gonna make you guys do it the more you focus on them it's hard to eat your food you go oh my god i'm a f there's an npc archetype like we're gonna get into it but what is a magician known for? So we got the hero and he wants mastery and to leave a mark. The magician wants to leave a mark and so does the outlaw. But what is the magician known for? He wants power. See how different it is from the hero, but they're in the same category. Which influencers do you see as magicians? Where they, everything goes back to that looping thought of power. Andrew Tate, the star, is a magician. All right, fine. Yeah, okay, sure. I can't think of anyone else. Who else besides... Uh... Anyways, it doesn't matter. I'm asking you guys. Do you see it in the mirror?
because it gets tricky. It's your journey, but also how you treat your girlfriend. Are you a magician with her? You know, power for the sake of power is stupid, by the way. <clears throat> no, magician doesn't equal wizard. Wizards, a magician will either bend will or align it to the fabric of the cosmos. And it's done through, I don't want to say belief. What's stronger than belief? It's like when they know. There's some people who just, yeah. Okay, so we have the first category of you're either a hero in this category. And remember, these overlap. Your archetypes, you're a bit of all of them in percentage or however you want to see it. You have the hero, magician, and outlaw. These are the first three under leaving a mark on Earth. That's usually what the influencer is dominating that the chat isn't. The chat's being NPC. The influencer's out here making millions of shit, right? You guys have to focus with that, okay? Circa, do you think eating less makes you lazy? Of course not. Lazy? Dude, sloth and all. These are habits. Look at military guys. They don't eat sleep for three, four days. On the... Like, dude, join the military and don't do it, but finish PMQ basic military qualifications. I didn't do this, but I'm saying you're going to see your true self when you're tested. You're going to morph. Okay, so you see that with monks and all those guys who train too. Next, we have the category of connecting to others, love, the love category. And these archetypes will be the member, which is the NPC. And all he wants is belonging. This is an NPC archetype. Does that ring true to any of you? Like, ask yourselves. Because if it does, uh-oh. And remember, these can show up later in life when you're successful and they can you. So be careful with this, right? Well, you're really choosing. It's like you're playing slots and you're, oh, I want, I deserve this. I de you deserve the best for yourself in 2024 because you're going to multiply, have kids, live a Christian life. Your kids aren't going to be food stamped. Right? You don't want that. You guys are going to win. And when you guys win, I get better reviews on, on my shit. Okay. So we have member. He is the NPC that just wants belonging. Then we have the lover that just craves intimacy. This is for you incels. If you are identifying with this, hundred percent i feel bad for you son you have to master something so you have a network around you and you're not lonely anymore because humans are in a rat race and they want cheese bro that's how they are and you'll feel more whole when you do master something it's not going to be mastering something it's going to be mastering it the thing that you want Next, we have in the same category of connecting to others, we have the jester. He wants pleasure. You're going to see this in a bunch of content creators. All right, everybody, hands up, hands down. AJM donated $10. Peace and love, bro. We ain't all broke. Actor here in Babylon, but I can't let him know I love your content. Dot. At first, I thought you were head and was probably just jealous. You have a bit more charisma than me. 11, 11, 3 LP. Oh, then you have the greatest numbers: two 11s and a three. And you're in the movie making industry. Don't tell anyone you know me, bro. Keep that in the. They're gonna destroy you. You make your money, boo boo. And be careful with that. They're gonna bring a dress when you're at the top. All right. You look great on me. I'm kidding. If you're jester maxing all the time, imagine jester maxing as a chatter and not someone making money off it. That's not good, guys. So you guys who are just into my Keck W type streams, I feel like I'm scamming you, bro. You should be watching some of these mature 
streams too. Okay. Next, can I keep going or let's do questions? We have finished the first two categories of, oh my God, um, leaving a mark and connecting with others. These two groups, tribal, psychic phenomena we experience that we gravitate to toward, towards depending on our early uh, traumas. Okay. And guys, you're going to pick like three archetypes. You're going to draw them, focus on them, leave them on your desk, and you're going to become what you need to become. And I want you guys to pick the unrealistic ones for 2024. That's the point. Guys, you have to be getting paid with what you're studying. 2024. You guys are all, I don't care if it's a 10 cents a day, it has to start for you especially my chatters and i check up on you guys like the inner core the illuminati any questions how to manifest money in 2024 my dude this isn't a hocus pocus magical spell this is fix rewiring your brain so you're actually effective being effective like you think you're being effective but you're not you're gonna be effective and not in just one subject right i, I have multiple subjects like, do you guys remember when I first started? I was like, yeah, I know somewhat about the cult. But Nick Fuentes mastered politics. Haas, infrared, mastered communism. I'm the cult guy, but I don't have a... Ma nope. Revise my notes, fix everything, read all these books. Now I'm... I don't like being considered... I don't like being called the cult guy, to be honest. I'd rather be the Christian guy. But uh, I guess they go hand in hand. That'd be like the shadow of spirit. Uh, you got to know both. You got to protect yourself in this world. The next category should hit hard for this chat. This whole category with these three archetypes, there's four categories total. It's those of you that are on a spiritual journey and it's not going to mean what you think it is. It's, it's kind of mixed. Watch. One will be the innocent member. Uh, well, you can say male or female. I'm just doing boys. Male. An innocent man wants safety. So these are the guys who never leave their house. They're always safe at their computer. Da, da, da. Who in chat, one in chat, if you identify with being an innocent little Christian who's done nothing, you just want safety, it's poisoning your life dude that's like you can't even get off maple island and fight a snail and you're focusing on dragons and you're so afraid dude you haven't done you have zero experience you're a level five not even a swordsman beginner you're not even a wooden sword you're literally throwing rocks at snails so in this spiritual journey the innocent safety little christian in my chat i'll go deep into this don't worry about it. I'm gonna, I know you guys are not like me, so I'm gonna force you to be like me. And you're gonna notice if you have unrealistic expectations, which is healthy, I think, it comes with a lot of bullshit self, which I don't wanna say that in the ether, but like big ups, big downs, right? So we're in the spiritual journey. We finished the archetype of the innocent safety little beta mill. And then we have the sage that just want knowledge i'm not going to go into this too much because i think this is when we're like grandfathers because a lot of the most knowledgeable people don't really pass it on they'll they'll teach a few people but it's not a lot of sages just teach themselves bro it's very weird like i know a lot of guys who can take me to the next level that won't do it like in my thinking because uh yeah they're like very loner and they know what kind of task it is, because, uh... Emre Jam donated $28.88. That's, That's some money. Now. Born on the 220th day of the Dragon Year, 7th of August 2000, Life Path 8. What are my strengths? Much love. Did he say 7 and 8? And I don't know why he gave me the date of his year, his annual day. It's like me saying I'm a 52... 
Oh, that that's different, but it still means something. But what did he say? You have an eight, so trust me, finance isn't something you should focus on. You should focus on soul nourishment, and that that brings more finance when you're psychically healthy. Yeah, you might go five, seven years without producing that kind of revenue, but when your book comes out or whatever it is, it bangs hard, right? So a lot of you eights guys and 28s and blah, 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 that make a shit ton of money, you guys want family and other things. Like, you should be focusing on uh, less greedy ventures, right? I assume this guy's money, but who knows, okay? So we finished the innocent safety beta mill in the spiritual journey. The sage who just wants knowledge. This one I'll talk about the least. This one is, yeah, I, mean, I don't think that's going to help you guys that much. And the third one is the explorer archetype that just wants freedom, which is very different from what you're looking at here. Like, oh, Zerka, you're the free speech channel. You're the freedom guy. I'm more in the archetype of the, I want liberation from the system. Whereas the freedom guy is more of a hippie that wants freedom. He doesn't really have an issue with the system. It could be any system. He's not ideologically driven. So this is not really me, but I can identify with these guys. For you freedom guys, you hippie guys, mastery is the most important and that's away from money. Mastery would be like in your dojo, in your monk group or whatever you're doing. Right? I I know what it's going to be. It's going to be Christian mastery for all of you or else I'm not even giving you advice. And we're not increasing your dark arts. Okay, and the last category that I that I'll be packaging for you guys is the provider. Let's think of a loadout, these archetypes, right? The provider and they want to provide structure, okay? This stuff is like for your family, mom, dad, stuff like that. But mostly, if it's your nature, I'm not going to lie to you, dude. You guys don't go that far in life. You guys get walked all over. So, you know, I want you to be a good, charitable Christian. But if you're getting and your Christian family is losing so that the evil families are winning, one Christian family is more important to me than 10 atheist families because they don't offer any seeds that will uh, blossom, you know what I mean? Like they don't have spiritual seeds to give. And uh, so they're seen as like infant. I know the kingdom, the kingdom of heaven, goes to the children we must be like children but the these atheist families have to start losing so we can win just so they can politics for a bit just give us some give us some legislative and uh, executive order 66 first okay you know what i'm about i'm not a revolutionary and i'm not cia and i'm not make, gonna make a shit ton of money before this revolution and disappear <laughs> and i didn't predict the revolution I said civil unrest. Right. How many predictions did I get so far? Like I've been crushing it for the last couple of years. Alex Jones afraid to talk to me. I'm crushing it so much. We booked Alex Jones in March. Trust me, this year is going to go phenomenal. You guys are all going up with me. So for the providers in the provider category, we have... The caregiver, nurse, doctor, whatever, careful if you're that guy. The second one will be the ruler, the king caregiver. Could be a bad caregiver, could be good. This is a ruler archetype. If you identify with a ruler ar archetype, go watch Andrew Tate or some channel like that because we're not. I'm not even getting into this. This one, no, no. The only thing you'll rule and have lordship over is your wife and kids. I'll go into that. But you know my position's there. It's, they're not going to change. And then the last one will be the creator and innovator. For the creator archetype, if you feel you're a creator, I know this is going to go against a lot of Jung and stuff, but 
there's nothing new under the sun. I don't think you're a real creator. I don't think anyone is. Like, look at me repackaging a bunch of work. I'm not even a creator. Guys, get over it, okay? If you're a creator but always broke, we're gonna. you have to solve your adult issue first. Your adult issue will be providing for your woman. These two go hand in hand. She got to respect you. And it... The, the, those days of you guys providing just like electricity, food, yeah, you're going to get cheated on. It's not enough anymore. Especially to my good looking guys who want some babe. It's over. Those days are gone. Why do you think my whole channel is re reviving the 1950s? Because those days are over. I'd still want to do a comic book anime on uh, the New Testament and I'll do it when I'm older and I'll work with some of you painter types and sh but uh, everything you do must generate passive income okay guys I made a ton of money selling one thing when I should have sold five things excuse me eight you see what I did you're either leaving a mark, connecting with others on a spiritual journey, or providing structures. These four, the archetypes you identify with the least, is the ones you're going to obsess over the most and be unrealistic. That's step one. Okay? So this is going to hurt. Because for the beginning of the year, you're going to feel kind of like a bum. You know, you got to go from outlaw to hero or both. Now, check this out. Here's how I need you to see this. Like this. Your desires and your soul, which, guys, we pray every night, right? Am I the only one? I don't care if it's a five minute or an intimate prayer. Every night, your soul, you're going to talk to this mother every night. Your soul is being charged. Your feminine soul, desire, desire, is being charged by masculine, idealistic spirit from the ooh, depths or collective or whatever you want to call it. That's your thoughts is your spirit not the other way around and that's animating your soul which is your desires which is animating your body to sweat by the brow and get that shit done heart is self heart is soul and here's the game changer heart is anima so we're going back on archetypes if the heart is anima and the heart is soul, that means I've been wrong in 2022 on my last lecture. The first time I've been wrong about anything I've ever gone in depth with. And that's why I'm having a mental breakdown because that stream, that lecture, I think you know what I'm talking about, is three hours of gold minus one error and now it's driving me nuts like i want to re-upload that stream with sensors so i can correct it <clears throat> all sexual energy is transmuted you're not getting a girlfriend until you have status network looks and that shit's flowing with game that way you live like me next libido the sexual energy you're transmuting it's not sex magic you're not squandering your nut. I don't give a nutting from your eyes. It's no fap 2024. Okay. And if you f up, you're popping a psychic amnesia pill, pretending that should never happen and back on to charging yourself. Your libido is expression taken from the theory of emotions. This is Freud now, but it's correct. The qualitative magnitude of instincts which have to do with all 
that may be compromised under the word love. Think of how much that word has been in your life. It's not a bad word. Think how much how much you've lost and compromised for that word. And <sighs> love is great. No love hurts. This is not something you're going to be irresponsible with. No player shit in 2024. If you're going to do player shit, it's game. But you're not actually doing the act with that chick. No. Your electricity is shooting from your root into your solar vision. So libido is soul again. But it's, again, we're looking at the compromise of the word love. I'm not going to break down that word. I'll do it in my series, but I think I'll do like 20 minutes on the word love. Because, bro, it took me years, years to try and break down that word. I had to go mental gymnastics. And now I go with what aligns with the Bible. So I find it a lot quicker. But man, this is tough shit. Shakespeare can't do this shit. Jung says the spirit of Eros. So he's talking about libido. Is the divine or divinity, the spark of divinity itself. Right? Pro-life creation, right? Energy. Libido is soul. Back to love and desires. Do you have you onion peeled what you desire most? What you desire most, if you see it in the reflection of the mask you wear, the persona, the mask you wear to compromise your politically correct face, you compromise with society with, if your desires link with superficial at its core, which it can't, but that's an illusion, you're going to kill yourself. Okay? <clears throat> you understand? A lot of the desires I need you guys to fulfill are just vehicles for the real shit. They're kind of just to keep the game fun. But it's not going to be end game you. End game you is Dragon Knight you, and it's going to look a lot like me. It has to, right? Because if I'm preaching alone at my mega church and I don't have a few of you chatters up with me, and you have to look good, by the way, you got to have some fives in your energy. You got to be good looking. Chads only. Um, is suicide natural? That's a stupid question. It's natural. Don't go by natural arguments. They don't make sense. We go by the word, and the word is infinite everlasting always been here this isn't changing dude okay this isn't changing and stop thinking this means a boring life stop thinking this means you're poor they put that in you okay you want dollars go with the devil right if you want sweaty brow dollars here and it pays in soul nourishment and a Ferrari. I guarantee you I'll get you guys some Ferraris out of this, bro. Some of you guys are going to remember this. It's a life-changing stream. <clears throat> but most of you guys are going to fail. Because close your eyes. Can you do it? None of you, none of you believe you could do it. means you don't believe in the Father. And the blessings come your way. You know God sends you one million care packages that you never open. It's not like, can I have one, please? It's been 25 years of my life. Can I have one care? You have a million unopened care packages and you don't use the key of faith. You know you have them. Get the fuck out of here with this. God never blessed me. Pardon my French. Stream's almost over, guys. But uh, when I go in depth with this, you're going to see why I'm charging money. You're going to see what I'm going to what I'm gonna bring. Okay. 500 pages of new notes and the new notes aren't as good as the old but they're like 10% more accurate so like my OCD wasted a lot of time with that shit I'm not gonna lie but also I was wrong 
been a month and I've never read more books in my life. Naturally. Yeah, I'm using a lot of Red Bull, but no Adderall. No, you don't need that shit. Okay. Now that I think about it, I think that stuff was actually holding me back. Because then I would do like one book hard instead of five books. Correct. You know, like small books. Also, did you guys want a chap? Should I go through a chapter on alchemy? Philosophical, allegorical, psycho-spiritual. Uh, I feel like it's way too complicated because none of you guys meditate. And none of you guys do the stuff I post on Twitter. Uh, which I don't even recommend you do that stuff until like... I'm not going to lie. If you don't have a mentor, none of this is ever going to make sense to you. Like, and I'm not the mentor. I'm like, just because I said it on the stream, a mentor is like, you go back and forth with them throughout the day. Without a mentor, you guys are like, I'd rather you guys have a shitty mentor than no mentor on all this stuff. But, uh, yeah, you guys, the guys who are into be winning in life easily and getting as rich as I just did, if you guys are into that, if you guys are into making so much money you can sue your enemies and say not nah, keep the money i want to take you down for christ i don't want you scamming no no one else dude i'm telling you i have a team i have them i had a mentor and now he hates me i guess because i'm doing this um and i hate's a strong word it doesn't he doesn't believe in hate but i'm telling you guys I have a team I talk to. You guys should set up a team for 2024. Losers are alone. Humans are so lonely. Millionaires who are mentors will give you free hours of their time. But you've never asked them. There's so many out there. So that that part, networking, I'm not going to solve for you guys. Okay. What else did I want to explain for you guys? The fitness one I don't want to do, right? So I feel like I got ripped like four or five times with you guys on stream in the last four years. And it's kind of like the advice is out there for free. You guys have my shit. It's pretty, it's gold. I'm not going to lie. The fitness stuff is gold. If you find my, is it paint stream or whatever? The one with a bunch of views on YouTube. It's not even my channel. It's like someone else's. But, uh. I don't want to update that because that shit's gold, bro. I don't want to... I feel like I'd lead you astray. Wait, go look into that. Uh, yeah, fitness one. I'm, yeah, no. Mm -hmm. When are you going to hire more people? Middle January, I'll be taking a bunch of people. I already got a bunch of volunteers too, so you guys are going to have them at your access when you work for for me and why i'm saying for me and not with me is because we're not negotiating shit like you're doing what i say we don't have time for you saying uh actually let's do it this way like i love one of you but one of you were ta telling me something about the symbolism of waking up to a lion a lion in your room well, John, why don't you do a different animal? And then they chose like some loner animal that doesn't have multiple fucking bitches. No, nigga, you need to do the social animal. You can't be a tiger because they're loners. Like that all pinks in your subconscious. You don't want... Xerxes, was that you? What animal did he say on Twitter? It really pissed me off. I got really... I gave him a lot of free game. Ask him. I just give him a hundred bubbles. I help him out. I love him. But he gave me an animal that pissed me off. He didn't say tiger. What did he say? Yeah, he said peacock. And then that's when I realized, I'm like, whoa, he's trying to see the symbolism as one thing. When it's like, no, dude, when you look at a lion, you don't just see violence. You're seeing multiple things. So he's taking all the garbage of a peacock, trading it for the looks. It's very stupid because women don't feel safe with a fucking peacock. If that's what's being integrated, that's the nigga they feel safe with. They don't even feel safe with a tiger. You get it? Now, this stuff doesn't make sense. Like, most of you, it's just a painting in the wall. But if you know how to clear your mind before bed, 
finish your prayers, go to sleep saved. That stuff is very different. Also, I'm going to add, I think I'm going to touch on alchemy a bit and taking symbols into dreamland. So you do that anyway. It's not like I'm teaching you some black magic. You're doing that anyway. Like, for example, you finish boxing, you have a key for your locker, smelly, metallic, sweaty key, and it's next to you when you're sleeping. That scent, pituitary and lunar, that key, the last thing you see, it goes with you, whether you remember it or not, right? So, like some of the best boxers, they're dreaming of fighting. There's like, basically, this is what you're going to do 2024. Your sleep, you're going to be a millionaire in your sleep. And daytime, you're going to be becoming. So the things that are to come of your dream. And this doesn't have to happen right away or like in a few months. The wheels just have to turn. Because one day everything connects and that's your viral boom and when you go viral or money whatever whatever it is you're trying to do when that stuff happens it cannot feel foreign if it feels foreign you can't replicate it you're done that's why when i was going viral i was like yeah yeah i expect this i'm the king i know this shit right and that's actually a position of humility because i believe i deserve way more for what i've done for the internet if we just look at it as free market, right? Like, give me this, give me that. You take this from me, I, I take your money, you know? <clears throat> We're going to end the worst negative thought loop, guys, is being surprised of your wins. Whoa, dude, I got 5,000 views. You're never going to be surprised. Whoa, I knocked him out. You're never going to be surprised with your wins in life, whether sport, financial, whatever. They will not be celebrated. That's how much you're going to be working. And it's going to feel normal to you. It's going to turn like a wheel. The second you don't believe in your win, like, oh, it's a fluke. I, <laughs> my course will never help you again. It'll take you like a month to deprogram that shit, bro. That's why you have like a win and a month of losses or a win and a month of neutral. I don't believe in none of that. None of that. That shit's garbage you can win every day there's plenty of people who do it there's putin's and trump's and these have been winning for like 40 years straight it's possible and if you're gonna say they're satanically charged for some years they weren't it's like an up and down thing like guys you can win in 2020 2024 when you see how good i do on dragon year whatever the fuck, i'm telling you when i on the game again Every time I do this kind of a stream where I'm talking all cryptic, I say, I'm going to do it, and then I do it. Guys, if you're losers in 2024, it's over. It'll never happen for you again. <clears throat> a loser is just frozen. I don't care how much you have, how much you... I don't care if you've got... I don't care if you're in a desert right now, Okay. A loser is just frozen. That's what I'm saying. We put energy in motion. Emotion. Where's my lighter? It's fucking chat. Piss me off with that shit. If you don't do what I say, this is going to be your wife as a millionaire with high clout. Nancy. Yeah. I've got January fully booked up, February half booked up on everything I'm going to do. And I'm doing every single month before the new year, vaguely at least. In January, I'll go into detail. Every single 365 days, my calendar is going to ping off my phone of something that needs to get checkmarked. Winning is just grocery list. Check this, check that, check that. That's it. <clears throat> Another thing, guys, when you're doing self-development on the internet, get OBS and record your four hours. You don't have to post it. You don't have to make a YouTube video. Rewatch every day. You can speed it up and see how many of those hours you did anything. 
and it's going to be painfully obvious immediately you're going to have like four hours of active and effective problem solving because you're going to see that you did a four hour recording and, and didn't learn anything in four hours and you're going to feel like a re so streaming really took me to the next level because i was like i could see my failure days i'm like well i spent eight hours and uh, i'm sure tapia do you remember at a time where infrared read more books than me he was in college and shit like two years ago or a year ago <laughs> on him on reading like now he admits it. he's like yeah you read way more than me i had done shit on the f that took like less than a year it built up i'm glad i was around him though because twitch people i spent a lot of time with on twitch man if you're a chad you need to read books if you're a nerd you need a chad even Jung talks about a lot of you guys who spent your life being successful early are too serious in life. You have to play with your grandkids more to complete that individuation process. The whole, you want a whole sense of self. And so I don't just do Christianity. I actually do the psychology too. And it aligns. And I think it's going to bring a lot of atheists on our side. My way. Gonna have some sermon type streams, but mostly it's gonna be this kind of psychological analyzing Freud, all this. So it's gonna feel very atheist, but trust me, we're gonna end with bangers. And another thing, you could forget everything I said on the stream, because if you're praying every night, you're gonna win. That's the magic of life, bro. The real magic. Bro, God boosted me when I didn't even say Christ. I just said God because I was too like, oh, what if I get it? Then I started saying Christ. And then you saw from 2023. Also, when I take breaks from studying, right? So we're going to have a, we're going to be number one. That's how we do it, right? We're always training, whether in mind, body, whatever. Look at this, bro. When I take breaks, I start doodling, and how come we've never seen a Jesus like that? Because they give us they with our minds, bro. Look how I've repackaged for the youth, for Speed's audience. I want to make a comic book, bro. I don't have time for it in the beginning months of this year, but I swear I'm just going to hire a team to copy my art style and do it for me. Isn't that what you... Would you finish the Bible if I made a comic book, guys? Would that be easier? With footnotes? And I'd even add little, like, no to make, like, kids laugh. I'd do it on, like... Not, not Prophet saying it, but, like, some lower-class kid, like a Rebecca or Rachel with the Esau Jacob thing. Maybe them to make it funny. <clears throat> I'm not going to lie, the artist part of me wants to do this the most, but I know that's, we got to do, we got to move the bishops and not, that's a pawn piece right now, okay? Matter of fact, when we're, at, when we're business titans, oh, I should give you guys my business books I read too, I should package that for you, that, oh, you can have that for free, right? And I like the power of positive thinking, is that Trump's mentor? That's one of the best ones, right? Okay. Questions from chat before we wrap up the informative segment of my stream. Because, guys, I do these informative segments so my legacy is... They're going to write down in history that he was a genius. He just said a lot of slurs so no one believed him. And these guys who are saying, what books can I read to have your mindset? Think of Jesus as the goggles. The occipital part of my brain will be Jung, and then in my gut will be Pike, Manny P. Hall, and Albert G. Mackey. That's really it. I don't know why I'm giving you guys a bunch of extra work. Like, that's going to take you guys 10 years in itself. And remember, when I say 10 years, you could do it in one. Like, if you've got that 
spirit, Holy Spirit flowing through you, this shit starts to, you leave the sped class and you become, if you guys saw my grades in high school, you'd know how, in how much of a, how much, Actually, I don't think it's just me. I think you guys are 20, around 24, 25, 26. A lot's going to change. And these streams will make a lot more sense when you're older. But I kind of want you guys to get a head start 21 years old because we're at war, man. We're fighting fighting a war, mom. That's why I tell my mom when she's worried about me. <clears throat> fighting a war. And I need soldiers. And you guys don't look like soldiers. When you guys have money, you're not confident. When you're confident, you don't have money. That's like most of chat. Um, 2024 is your year. Because this is the last time I will ever say to my chat, if you guys don't win in 2024, you'll never win. 